guys welcome to telecom forum channel this is Salam Rasan Chandran today we are going to talk about microwave transmission so what is microwave microwaves are the form of electromagnetic radiation with a wavelength ranging from 1 meter to 1 millimeter microwave frequencies are lies between 300 MHz to 300 gigahertz frequency this is a typical electromagnetic wave it contains magnetic field as well as electric field this red color wave indicates magnetic field whereas blue color wave indicates electric field as we said earlier it's a combination of electrical field and magnetic field microwave transmission microwave transmission is the transmission of information that is voice data television telephony or radio signals by microwaves microwaves are widely used for point-to-point -point communication because their small wavelength allows conveniently sized antenna to direct them in narrow beams which can be pointed directly at the receiving antenna let's suppose this is a main hub side it contains two microwave links from here to there and from here to there without obstacles between two antenna is called line up side it supports approximately 30 miles microwave link or hub the connection of two Fixed microwave sites via lineup site is called microwave link or half. This is a example picture. Site A and site B without any obstacles. The signals are transmitted from from here to there. Is also called lineup site. Microwave key parameters. The parameters are hertz, frequency, amplitude, phase, and polarization. Hertz. The measurement of signals electromagnetic frequency expressed as a number of cycles per second. Frequency the rate of waves oscillation measured in hertz. Amplitude the strength or power level of the wave. Phase the particular point in the cycle of waveform measured in degree that is angle. Polarization the orientation of electric field driving the wave. Line up site. It's a type of propagation that can transmit and receive data only where transmit and receive stations are in the view of each other without any obstacles between them. Live examples are FM radio, microwave and satellite transmission. Site A, Site B without any obstacles between Site A to Site B is called line up site that, that is LOS. Antennas. Antennas are the devices that radiates, that is transmit or receive electromagnetic waves of certain frequencies. Microwave antenna. An antenna is designed to radiate and receive microwave frequencies. Therefore, it's also called microwave antenna. This is a microwave antenna installation picture. This black color cable indicates a waveguide. These are the microwave antenna with the radios. This is 3 diameter microwave antenna, which means it supports very long distance. Waveguide, a metallic physical transmission medium and wave propagates along it. Microwave energy travels through guided media is called waveguide. We have four types of waveguides that is rectangular waveguide, circular waveguide, elliptical waveguide and corrugated waveguide. This is rectangular waveguide and this one circular waveguide, this one elliptical waveguide whereas this one corrugated waveguide. The main properties of microwave links are it involves line up site and it was mostly affected by environmental constraints in, including rain fading and fog have limited penetration capabilities through obstacles such as hills and buildings and trees signals can be degraded during solar proton events this is a transmitting antenna this is a receiving antenna this is called line up site the line up site should be without any obstacles between two micro antennas fading loss in the signal strength across the link caused by atmospheric disturbance like rain or snow that can scatter the microwave signals the lower frequency microwave bands offer greatest possible distance that is theoretically it allows 50 kilometer that is 31 miles this is site a site b this is a normal signal without any obstacles if we have any fading issues the signals are scattering so we will get the reflection between two micro antennas this is a reflected path atmospheric challenges fog generally causes negligible loss in the microwave links 
and heavy rain also causes negligible loss in the microwave links air temperature has little impact on the links this is a example pick for the atmospheric challenges and risk here the complete site is occupied by snows it was greatly impact the micro link radome and protective cover snow and ice can easily build up on the exposed antenna structures that is it increase the weight of the antenna mount therefore the total weight of the antenna and equipment are higher antennas can be fitted with the protective covers that prevents the build up of snow or ice in front of the antenna while also reducing its wind load radomes are particularly useful for large and long haul micro antennas that are already heavy these are the protective cover or radome which is used to protect the micro antenna against the fog and ice formation these are the microwave frequencies and its half length it start with 0.9 gigahertz this is a maximum and minimum link length based on the frequencies the frequency band start with 0.9 gigahertz it end with 80 gigahertz maximum link length is 100 km and minimum link length is 1 km microwave frequency and its application as we said earlier each frequency have certain applications and certain wavelength let's suppose the frequency between 50 to 60 hertz supports ac electricity transmission whereas 60 to 300 gigahertz it supports millimeter wave links 1 to 60 gigahertz supports micro links transmission these are the applications against the frequency low frequency versus high frequency the low frequency micro bands offers greatest possible distance theoretically allowing the links in excess of 50 km that is 31 miles in telecommunication the frequency and the distance are inversely proportional to each other when you have the low frequency it provides larger distance when you have the higher frequency it provides lesser distance adaptive transmit power control that is ATPC ATPC dynamically adjusts the power levels to compensate for any link impediments adaptive modulation adaptive modulation is used to dynamically switch the modulation schemes according to the prevailing channel conditions the typical modulation schemes for selected adaptive modulations are 4 qwam that is quadrature amplitude modulation 16 qwam 64 qwam 128 qwam 256 qwam 512 qwam and 1024 qwam this is a example picture for the adaptive modulation when the sky is clear the link can be able to send 1024 qwam whereas the link is affected by rain the link will support 256 qwam modulation whereas the link having affected heavily through rain it it sends only 4 qwam again when the link can be able to send 1024 qwam when the sky is clear thank you for watching if you like the video please like subscribe and share with your friends thank you